Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kyle Martin, and we're back here for another Friday upload. And in today's video, we're gonna be creating a slimline panel holder for the plein air artist on the move. A couple of days ago, I bought this new backpack. And this spring, I'm thinking that I'd like to get out to some of the natural areas around me and do some painting. I think that I'm gonna be hiking in and painting and then hiking out. And normally I just have all my things in the back of my car. I can just pull my car over, I can set up my things. But for hiking into a natural area, I got myself a new backpack and I'm in the process of lightening my plein air setup so that I can get out into the field, hike in, hike out with uh, minimal effort. And that way I can save my energy for doing the actual painting. This is a really cool backpack because I think that I can fit all of my things into it. This backpack was only $15 on Amazon, so I feel like I got a really good deal on it. I'll make an Amazon link in the bio so you can check it out. This is my old panel carrier. This is made to fit 12 inch by 16 inch panels and there's some slots right inside there where the panels just slide in and slide out and I can carry a bunch of them. The problem with it is, is that it's too big and it won't fit in the backpack. And for once in my life, I'm making a backpack where I can easily slide all of my things into it and get it out easily and everything fits and I can zip it up. I did make this 12 by 16 inch panel holder and we're gonna see if it's gonna fit into my bag. So it's in and I still have room for this palette as well. All right, so there you can see I can fit my palette and my panel carrier both at the same time in this backpack, which is really cool. I'm planning on carrying a large format easel out into the field. This is actually a skateboard carrying backpack and I'm going to be able to strap my easel. Here's the skateboard I'm actually riding. This backpack is gonna make it um, possible to strap my easel to the backpack as well. I can get the whole works on me and I can easily carry this setup into the field. I'm gonna be making a video where I show off my plein air painting setup. But today's video, we're gonna focus on just making that panel carrier. So here's that panel carrier. The basic idea is that the panel, uh, you can carry two panels in the field back to back because of these little grooves that are in there. So the painting, you know, if this was the oil painting that's completed, can sit face down in the panel carrier and you can take it, you can attach those bungee cords and you can actually carry two panels back to back with this because it's basically just like a little frame or a little spacer that goes in between two painting panels. And to plein air people, that makes a lot of sense because we're always talking about ways to carry wet paintings around. Yeah, this box, on the other hand, has slots in it. And I can carry wet panels here as well, but they just kind of slip right in like that. And you can see that I could carry quite a few wet paintings and they'll all remain separated with that box as well. The first thing that I did to create this uh, slimline panel holder was, and by the way, you can buy these things commercially from a company called Panel Pack. I really, mine had to be extremely slimline to fit it into my new backpack. You can buy these commercially from Panel Pack, but I decided to make one just out of some spare wood that I had laying around. I actually made it from a yardstick that I got from Menards. So I had a couple of wooden yardsticks. I actually had a different project going on with these. I had some type of a, a drawing device that I took apart right away and I recycled some of these yardsticks to make this panel holder. The first thing that I did was I kind of thought about it and I took some measurements and I ripped, I cut the yardstick in half lengthwise. It was kind of nice because I could just cut it once and I had both lengths of wood that I needed. I used some wood glue and some screws to create that stepped ledge and I drilled some pilot holes and I strengthened the wood glue 
and kind of held it in place as well with a couple of screws. I know that I'm never going to get great miters, but for this project, it was just, you know, close enough was good enough. I would never attempt to make my own frames because I know how hard it is, and I'm very appreciative of those who make the frames for me. I made some miter cuts, I did some measuring. Everybody who's made a wet panel carrier has made the wrong measurement and uh, measure the outside edge instead of the inside edge. 12 by 16 inch panel has to sit inside of this frame. Well, if I use the outside measurements, it wouldn't all line up. But just by taking my time and thinking it through, I was able to get it measured out, made my miter cuts, and I screwed the whole thing together. and I've had a huge to-do list the whole week. I'm gonna take a break now, I'm gonna do some skateboarding. Even though it's been a huge busy week, I'm still taking time to do all the things that I like to do because if you just make yourself too busy, it's not any fun. And for me, skateboarding and biking around is fun and making plein air equipment is fun. Thanks so much for joining me for this video, everybody. We'll do it again soon. You can check this channel every Friday for a new upload. This panel holder is just kind of a fun video to make. I'm by no means a great carpenter, but we are gonna be using this panel holder and getting out for a lot of plein air adventures this springtime. All right, we'll see you soon. Nice, bro.